Hi, everybody. I'm Jim Skelly, and this is The Global Conversation. We're now about halfway through uh, the semester, depending upon when you started, but we're certainly halfway through the themes. Um, the one I want to focus on uh, at the moment is the one on our economic system. If you uh, go to the course website, uh, you will see that um, we have a whole series of items on our economy. And it's interesting that this is a time when this has come to, to great uh, attention on the part of many, many people, the Occupy movements. I noticed that some of you have been posting about them. Um, there is, this is a crucial moment, and I do urge you to really pay attention. Some of you may want to compare how the Occupy movement is doing in different parts of the world. There are hundreds of cities that are involved, and as I think I mentioned last week when I uh, returned from the United States, um, there was great discussion uh, about the Occupy movement, and I recently signed a letter supporting the Occupy movement in New York. Um, this was a, um, an effort on the part of the seminar I was at, was a, a seminar of uh, American intellectuals, public intellectuals, academics, and journalists. And there is great support for this movement. I mean, I think this phrase, we are the 99%, is very, very important. And if you're looking under theme eight on our economy, I think one of the things to, a couple of things to really look at. Of course, look at the ecological economics, frequently asked questions. This is the, um, uh, the question and answer session with Herman Daly, who's in many ways the, the father of uh, ecological economics. Um, we've also thrown in to this a, um, a uh, challenge to those who think that uh, uh, global warming is not a priority. The economist, the Danish economist um, Bjorn Lomborg uh, talks about the fact that we need a different way of thinking about uh, the issues um, and that uh, climate change isn't that big of a threat. He thinks there are other things that are, are much more threatening to us. Now, the two other things I'd like you to pay attention to is is the short video with, about E.F. Uh, uh, e. Schumacher. Schumacher is the one who wrote the famous book uh, called Small is Beautiful, which I highly recommend to all of you. Um, the other thing is, um, do take a look. It's an easy way to get a conceptual view of what's happening with capitalism right now. And that is the, um, the second video we've listed, The Crisis of Capitalism. It's done by this RSA Animate which I think is very, very, uh, uh, very, very good. And it's a, it's a good visual way to get a sense of what's happening. Uh, you should also take a look at the short article this week by Herman Daly, Economics in a Full World. Now, there's a number of other things. Um, one of the uh, things to take a look at, I think, is um, an article by Tim Jackson. Tim Jackson is a very interesting guy who's, who's um, challenging uh, the issue of um, uh, whether or not our consumption, our consumerism is on the wane, whether it's declining. He's arguing in this article that um, uh, we're still plundering unsustainably many of the world's resources. And He's written a great deal. Uh, Tim Jackson is somebody that, that has thought about economy in a very interesting way. And uh, I'll, I'll try to send you a, a link to one of his books. Um, but he's really trying to get us to think outside the box. And that's really, really what we must do. Think about a, a very different way of organizing our economies. Um, the other thing to look at, and again, I'll send you a link to this, is the, you know, a, a few weeks from now, a few themes from now, we take a look at um, Jeremy Rifkin. Uh, Rifkin is the one who wrote about uh, the empathic civilization. He thinks we have um, the ability to, um, to create a, 
a global uh, civilization that is fundamentally informed by empathy. I have my doubts about it, but it's, it's a compelling argument and one that I think you should take a look at. But he's going to be live at the Guardian website talking about his new book, which is called The Third Industrial Revolution. In it, he envisions a future um, where green technology drives a new economic revolution of the sort that I think many of us would like, a renewable energy regime, um, etc. But you might want to take a look at the article and also sign up for his live discussion uh, and see if you can't find out some interesting things and let the rest of us know how it's going, okay? Um, th there's a, a good many things on the, uh, the Guardian's environmental website, so when you get to this article by Rivkin, I think you'll also um, uh, find many other things that may interest you and uh, be useful in your work on the learning circles. Now, with regard to the learning circles and with regard to course discussions, let me say about course discussions, I'm delighted, by the way, people are engaging with each other on, on the website. You know, we keep talking in this course about the fact that it's collaborative learning. We all teach each other in this class. And that's very evident when you look at the course discussions. It's also evident to me when you look at the work that all of you were doing on the learning circles. Um, I would argue that you know this is the ninth time that we have offered this class over the last four and a half years. And it may be that this is the best, um, um, shall we say, focused effort at creating uh, really good learning circle projects. Uh, so do take a look at that. I also just posted something myself in one of the course discussions uh, for those of you interested in population issues by Betsy Hartman. I'll also make a point of, of, um, of quoting some of that in my email to all of you. Um, we're very busy here in Derry. Uh, in the next couple of days we start our International Student Conference on Divided Societies. So I hope I'll get to spend a little bit of time seeing what you're up to on the website. Um, I hope, you know, I, I love hearing from you, so, so do stay in touch. Uh, and uh, I'll try and get back to those of you who have submitted directly to me uh, your um, midterm essays uh, very soon. I'm hoping to have most of those looked at by early next week. Um, not this week, but in about 10 days' time. All right. All the best to all of you, and I'll hope to talk to you soon. Bye for now.